uh, test subject one. Um, Baxter Gonzalez is his name. Hello, sir. How are you today? Uh, I'm doing good. Yeah. Um, so, how do you? How, why do you want to get it done? Is my question. What? I don't know. Who doesn't want the first cybernetic implant? All right. Uh, and and you agree to the terms, Doctor Jordan? Give him the uh, consent form. Um, yeah, we're we're. This is going to be extensive. You realize that, right? And it's not going to be a, a easy process. Well, sir, I'm Doctor Jordan. This is going to hurt one second. Uh, you'll it'll be painless. Technology is everywhere, in our pockets, in our workplace, and even in our own homes. It has dominated the media industry through games, science, art, and any practical purpose we use in our daily lives. B but will we take it too far? Technology by definition is the application of scientific knowledge for practical purposes. But where will the line blur between practical and cynical? And will the young mind be harmed forever? I always knew I wanted to document it. I wanted to keep this an archive filmed. Um, was, was it authorized? Maybe not, but I knew Mr. Gonzalez, the the subject in this situation, knew he wanted to be filmed, and I just think that this needed to be shown to the world. I don't like to be filmed, but for the record, this operation will change history. Go ahead. How's it going? Going good. Um, so, we're going to sit right here, I'm going to be interviewing him. You guys do what you do, okay? You guys do what you do. Uh, he's... Okay, Todd? Todd. Yeah, we're going to do it in this room. Yeah. Okay. Interview sits... No, no, uh... Patient sits here, interview sits there. Camera here. Uh, sorry about the, uh... Painful um, surgery. Hope it was worth it. How, how you liking your new hand? Do you liking it? Oh, it's great. Yeah. Um, so ready for your next surgery. I'm sorry to you know push these like uh, you know next surgery. Oh man, I can't wait. Oh for the man, next that's one. nice. That's nice. Wow, that works really well. I think I'll take the clipboard. Uh, stop the interview. Turn off. Okay. This is dehumanizing. This is demoralizing. You're gonna put this on a person. I found this on the junk card. I don't care. This is a he's person fine. we're he's talking fine. about he's here. Fine. He's fine. He's fine. It's a person we're talking about here. He's lobotomized. He is. Hello, Mr. Gonzalez. Nice to see you here again. Uh, we're going to be running down some of the procedures we went through on, on the last uh, surgery we had with you. Uh, so we disconnected and uh, reconfigured the right optical nerve to synchronize the integrated circuit board to connect the augmentation to the uh, C15. That was the C21. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Okay, well, I guess the C21 and, uh, and the, the optical lobe. Oh, yeah. Um, so, I'm um, looking here and I'm seeing some additional issues were done here. Um, it looks like a partial modernization was done to you. Let me break that down for you. Um, what that means is you're probably going to be really shaky from here on out. Uh, so yeah. Um, I'm just going to need you to sign this. Did you tell about the amputation? Um, no, I haven't talked to him about the amputation yet. That comes later. Um, we might get this little, you know, hand, uh, amputated, um, but it, it's no, no biggie. That's why, this is the why. Dr. Borf has already discussed with you personally on a personal basis, so, um, so, um, D Dr. Borf, uh, can you elaborate or anything? That's classified.
All right, we have the uh, thing set up, the checklist. Um, you got the container, headband, optical uh, incision soon, eye cam, and his finger soon to be after the amputated. Um, right, everything's in our budget constraints. So yeah, you know, this might be. Might be what we need. You can't be filming. Dude, I've told you over and over again, you can't be in that lab. Like, come on, we're, 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 uh, we're doing the stuff we need to do. I'm not, you gotta be better turn that camera off. Don't, don't come. Hello, uh, nice to see you again. Um, just to run down again what we did, um, due to some comp, okay, well we, okay, the amputation, we cut it down at the elbow, uh, but, Due to, due to some uh, complications, unfortunately, uh, we had to go to the shoulder region, and we hope, you know, we don't have to go further than that. Um, but uh, I'm congratulating you. Um, we're, we're all very excited at this achievement uh, you pulled here. Very excited. Very excited, yeah. Give him a grand applause. Uh, you're 80% electronic, running at 500 gigabytes per second. Uh, we removed your full frontal lobe. Um, and for further examination, we need you to sign this. Um, oh, oh, the, uh, the focusing. Uh, we're going to have to, uh, uh, for further, you know, procedures, we're going to make an autofocus. So you don't have to do it manually. I know we're running at a, a 144p, and for, for no reason, I don't know, for some reason it's uh, on the sepia filter, but it's, it'll be fine in the future. We'll get it to color. Um, some minor power outages may happen within the camera, but I think you'll be fine there. Your other eye, until we remove the optical lobe, will be fine. It was, it was tough to, to film and document all these procedures that had never been seen before. And uh, some of the, the, the scientists, doctors, and PhDs, they, they didn't want me to, to film them. They, they knew. This was some underground work, but it was professionally done, and I, this is unlike anything I've ever done before, uh, but I really enjoyed it. Alright, uh, we're here to congratulate you on this uh, success. Um, we have completely removed your optical system, uh, and nervous system. Uh, we've replaced it with this, unfortunately, a little bit bulkier uh, system that has also, unfortunately, removed your uh, fish, the optical efficiency by 1.3%. There is 30% uh, less shock damage. Um, I know you must have experienced this earlier, but at this point, I'm not really sure. Um, but we're here for further examination. So here, we're going to be getting your data, um, your storage drive data. Uh, I got it for you, sir. Um, just let that uh, cool real quick. It's also get, getting your uh, 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 your authorization and we were, to we proceed were, to the next. We were talking about the driver update. Oh, uh, the driver update. Um, as far as the camera went, uh, we have it's gone to 360p. Uh, thankfully, we got rid of the uh, sepia filter. Um, unfortunately, that hasn't manualized yet. Uh, it might, you know, but I'm sure you'll appreciate the uh, shock resistance of that. Um, is it, is it done? Okay. Right, uh, Bark, you know what to do. Um, so we're going to be seeing you next week. Why didn't we think of that before? Roll from here and then it'll look like I'll, I'll trace out the beam, then trace out the... Yeah, but I think you should only do one circle. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Everybody give him a round of applause. 
he is the first man to complete 100% electronic, 0% blood. Um, unfortunately, with all good things came some disappointments and uh, some bumps along the road. Uh, we have hit um, about 11.2 efficiency in optical uh, formatting here. Um, a 144p manual focus. I'm sorry I went back to those settings, uh, minor blackouts and such, but you know, you're the first robot. First, first robot man ever to exist. So it's gonna be there's gonna be some bumps along the road. Don't don't beat yourself up about it. Um, but you know, then then your whole entire optical human optical lobe has been removed and been replaced with this buddy right here. Um, it's kind of large, but I think you'll you'll make do with it. Uh, the uh, frontal lobe has been depleted also. Nothing left of that. Uh, so the fact that you can feel pain or motion is just out of the question at this point. We'll do tests later on. You know, um, but. You know, I'm here to congratulate you. Uh, I don't think any further processes will happen. Um, I just want to let you know um, uh, we haven't revealed this to the camera yet, but he's been ha running with some uh, psychological issues. I know he can't feel emotion, but for, he's been trying to type in Doc Kill and EXE and console and such, and that that's not good for you. Um, so just don't do that. You know, Doc Config, dot ID, whatever. You know, just. Those commands aren't good. You can't live with those. Um, Alright buddy, hang in there. And uh, good luck in the future.